looking for a reaction after Tuesday night and you absolutely got one today. You must be delighted with that. Yeah, really pleased first and foremost with the result. Uh, but I've got to say, I thought performance wise for 75 of the 90 minutes, I thought we were excellent. The first 25 minutes, half hour was probably the best half hour we've had since I've came to the club. I thought we were on the front foot. We had we got a shot after about 15 seconds where Keeman had just set the tempo. I thought Keem and Monty caused huge problems throughout the day. Uh, Preston, and a young lad in his debut, played step six last year. Uh, comes in and looks like a man. He was, I thought he was thought he was really good. And then the impact off the bench with, with Babs and Willow. And, and, and that's the thing. This this time last year, just to give an idea of where we're at as a club and, and stuff, we, we had three players on the bench this time when we came to Southport last year. And now we've, we've got players on the bench that are... They've got unbelievable talent. They're they're, uh, they're in it with it with the rest days, and overall, really, really pleased. But we've got to go and try and back it up Monday. The first two goals came from men at the back. Was it something that you'd worked on in training? Yeah, Sean, the goalie coach and runs do. I'll, I'll be honest, they do a lot of the a lot of the the set piece stuff, uh, and it's something we worked on. And a great ball from Sammy, and, and Hudge makes a great run to get across. It's something that we we identified as as a weakness. So that's. Huge praise to, to Sean and Runes for that and, and obviously the players for, for taking it on board. But I just thought we, we controlled the game a lot better. We passed the ball a lot better too often in the last couple of games. We went back to front too quickly. And and I think having Sammy in there as the back three as well, I thought he was thought he was excellent. He's, he's got an array of passing. But, and I've got to say as well, Skins is, Skins is a player that was our player of the year last year. He's missed probably about the best part of four months. He had a all about a 10 centimetre tear in his hamstring so to get through 90 minutes is, is excellent and, and uh, we're pleased to have him back in amongst us. We showed a lot of maturity today as well, it's big personality there for him. You do and that's what you need to do when you come to places like this, it's, they're, they're tough places. Jim's a, a man I've got huge respect for, he's uh, he's got the got the boys going and, and we just had to come and stand up. We knew we'd have a lot of balls in our box, we knew there'd be a lot of throw-ins in our box and, and we had, I said to the players you have to defend your box today, if you don't defend your box properly you won't win the game. And, Unfortunately, I think we did. Uh, I thought the back three were excellent. Kyle, Huddy, uh, Sammy, Chappie as well. And it's hard to try and pick people out. I just thought it was a, it was a great team performance. What were the conditions like? I mean, it was. It seemed like swirling when it's always windy here. It seems, but it was it almost felt like the first half was more impressive than I'd realised after the second because Southport couldn't really get out there half. No, they controlled the middle yeah. of the park in the first half against the wind. Yeah, I thought we I thought we pinned them in really well, and it helps when you've got two players up the top of the pitch that can look after it and, and get you up and, and get in. And you had Preston's energy in the first half and the quality of players that are playing balls down the side. So uh, it was a bit swirly, but it was there for both teams, and, and I just thought that we we started really well and maintained that for 25 minutes. And we have a, a 10 minute spell where without being disrespectful to Southport, they didn't do anything spectacular to get back in the game. It came from us, we, we, we highlighted. Danny Lloyd's an unbelievable player at this level. He's His left foot's ridiculous and we, we told the players to keep him on his, on his right foot. And, and that's what happens when you show somebody that quality, they're going to stick one in the top corner. And, but I thought a reaction from that was really, really good. Um, just to look forward to, then um, to games coming up, and um, Rose and Gibson were an absolute handful this afternoon, but um, once I've got a, got a whack late on, um, yeah. how's that looking early on? Yeah, we'll, we'll assess that. He's, uh, we're, we're hoping that he's just come off in the, the right time. It's the same way with Matty Preston on, on Saturday, Tuesday night. We just didn't want to find ourselves in a situation where he kept going and he gets injured and, and he's out for three, four, five, six weeks. So. I'm still learning that side. I'm still wanting everyone on the pitch as much as I possibly can, but we've still got to got to manage people. That's what that's what we've got a squad for. Uh, we'll, Saturday, Monday. If you ask any manager, I guarantee you 99% of them will make changes for Monday, and we'll, we'll look at that as well to freshen things up. Obviously, with Skins has played his first 90 in probably about four or five months, so there'll be a few things where we we'll have to freshen up, like we did today. And uh, You've got the impact of players that come off the bench. Babs comes on and scores too. Willow scores, so we've got an all-round really strong squad, and, and it's uh, and it's one of those ones I can I can I can almost hear it. People wondering what our best team is and what our best starting lineup is, and you don't always have to have a best starting lineup. We've got a brilliant squad who can all do different things at different times against different teams, and and uh, I'm really proud of the players and, and obviously the, the brilliant support there as well. And to send them home really happy is, is something that we're, we're extremely pleased with. Thank you, Paul. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thanks. Cheers.